How's it going, guys? Blackline Android HD here, and I've been uh, I've been busy for more than a week now, and I've come finally come back into my beautiful beautiful room right here, and now I'm gonna be making a review on how to flash tutorial for Golden Eye ROM. So let's get into 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 the actual thread for this ROM. Um, as you can see here, Golden Eye. It is based on latest build of official Samsung firmware, and that's nice because um, stock builds like this uh, uh, they often uh, often offer bug fixes, uh, some some uh, some interesting change logs, and uh, it's always recommended to run the latest build in order to get rid of bugs and so on. So this is very important in this room. This I bastard developer is a very very well known actually and why is that because uh, you know Samsung of, uh, releases the the official firmware and after a couple of hours this developer converts it ports it not ports it optimize the ROM into that base and uh, compiles everything and then he gives gives the uh, gives us the, the best result. So as far as I, as you can see here in official thread, uh, okay, um, it is very simple, it doesn't offer a lot of things and uh, why is that? I think it's because of the fact that it is really as it says here a fast stable and simple ROM for your Galaxy S4. Okay, it hasn't got a lot of features, there are the main feature that you you need in a ROM like this, it is stable, rock stable. Um, it is running Telux up uh, kernel, Viodex, uh, Zypholing, and uh, Rooted. Of course, there are uh, some uh, some uh, S4 tweaks right here. Uh, what I like of this ROM is that it is really S4 based ROM. It has no S5 ports in it. Um, I found by myself by by flashing a lot of S5 uh, themed ROMs as with S5 user interface, S5 ported apps and so on that they are not uh, so stable um, sorry for that noise, it's pouring with rain outside here in Romania and uh, the main reason that I like the S4 stock tweaked and so on ROM instead of uh, flashing the S5 is that uh, it hasn't got any bugs things are optimized for the S4 not the S5 so I don't really like, like ports okay because porting, porting things mean that uh, bugs can occur can occur at any time anywhere any anyhow uh, so that's my opinion Okay, so let's get back into this. Uh, so as you can see here, today we are on the 27th of uh, July and here a changelog is the same date. So it's the latest version, XXUGNG4. Um, another another thing uh, mentioned in changelog, uh, this is to match the look of stock S4. So that's better. Okay, some uh, some usually usually thoughts right here. How to flash installation? As usually, I recommend you to make an Android backup. I'm not gonna make this time because I am uh, sick of Omega. I've been running this Omegas for from version uh, 17, I think, and now it arrived at the version 30. And that's a lot to me. I want to change the ROM. I want to. Um, I want to give uh, another de developer a try, and see if it's working good and stable. So I won't make uh, an Android backup because I don't want to get back to our, uh, Omega afterwards. I wanna. I wanna try this Golden Eye because it's updated every every time. So wipe factory reset flash my ROM reboot system. Simple as that. Okay. 
and uh, exposed tweaks, of course. Additional infos, we, you've got mirrors over here. Screenshots, we'll see it. We'll see them after I, after I flash it. Some interesting add-ons, I think they are included already in Arama Installer. I would uh, opt for, I would go for the Slim Fast Advanced. I think it's for Google Edition or something, but... Oh no, it's GoldenEye, GoldenEye, sorry. GoldenEye Slim Fast Advanced, it deletes, removes Samsung uh, applications, services and leaps. Good. No worries about it. Um, more as for ROMs, video reviews, okay, version 22, this is version 37, okay, it's been a while, download center, I've already downloaded the ROM, all you need to do, you know for me, go to your download, uh, download folder and put these two things right here the desktop then transfer it by using USB the USB cable or or the Wi-Fi file explorer transfer then to your internal SD card or external SD card and then flash it via recovery I will show you that later so stay tuned guys okay guys I'm back here and uh, we are going to recovery as you can see it's it's feels feels touch recovery um, right now I'm gonna wipe everything for my to in order to clean to clean install a custom neuron so everything let me just check something in my mind so I've backed up the SMS the apps data mm. the Nova okay so everything is set into place so we're gonna we're gonna format everything so wiping data down here I hope you guys can see well I'm struggling focus in order to focus with my camera so formatting system as usually can see clearly what so wiping system is is done now we're gonna go and install zip as you can see install zip and then choose zip from SD card so choose zip from SD card one actually because the SD card one is the is the external SD card that's where I put my my ROMs. We're gonna scroll down until you see this GoldenEye version 37. So let's get working. So Aroma installer should uh, should uh, should occur at any time. Okay. So it says you're about to install GoldenEye for Galaxy S4. Yes. Yes, I agree. Custom installation. Carrier selection. I9005 International. RAM selection. Goldeneye, okay, Goldeneye Slim. I'll go for Slim. Mm, yes. S5 Weather, S4 Weather, S4 Weather Transparent, we just, I'll go for this. Camera with sound, camera without sound. It's better to, to keep it silent for me. 
Enable ad blocking, yes. Stock browser, Chrome browser. Clock selection, clock widget stock, clock widget transparent. Mm. I'll go for transparency this time. Dialer selection, black dialer, white dialer, black one. Enable exposed, yes. So it's gonna install the ROM right now. Let me zoom out a little bit. Okay, so we're just gonna go and click install now. Installation will begin now. Okay, be patient. Play some smooth jazz. Well, that's that's a fair assumption. We're gonna play some smooth jazz. So while the ROM is installing. Be patient. Writing system. Some jazz over here. <laughs> Actually, not jazz, but some deep music so come on you can see here down here there are some uh, some specs on what uh, is installing right now okay guys so I'll get back to you after the installation is over okay guys so the installation is done as you may see here so we're gonna go and reboot device let me zoom out a little bit so you could see the boot animation I'm gonna close the, the monitor and uh, let's see the boot animation I think is this stock S41 yes looks beautiful isn't it So afterwards, after the actual booting, we're gonna dive into into settings, into an overview by using this beautiful USB OTG cable, which I'll be connecting to to my mouse. Okay, so this is the the wireless adapter for my mouse, Microsoft. Yeah, don't know if my camera can focus, but yes, it can. Right here, as you can see, Microsoft. Yeah. So, I think I don't think uh, it's gonna take so long to the, for it to boot because uh, I've deleted the ROM. It's slim because everything related to to unwanted apps were deleted, were removed. <clears throat> As usually my reviews are kind of 20-30 minutes because guys I want to explain you everything in order to for you to understand 100% uh, and leave my channel with a strong opinion about this ROM. So the ROM is booted up. As you can see from the first time you open this, I'm gonna connect the OTG cable. And uh, first of all I will need to get this Pigeon case off because it won't fit in with my with my OTG right here so it's connected okay so I got my OTG connected I won't let you see my so as usually the okay let uh, The well-known uh, welcome part. English, yes, I will choose English. Wi-Fi. 
we'll take a look into that later we'll skip that just a second got Google not for now let apps determine your location no first this belongs to nobody so it really moves fast faster than the S5 port let me let me also turn the mobile lead off not show again so everything is right into place let me set the brightness so you can see it on camera I think you can see it completely so this is the the S4 launcher it moves really good it is optimized for S4 no S5 problems notification bar is is working really good more and I will show you that we are currently running GoldenEye version 1037 so it's good um, so uh, my first uh, it's got the S voice which I'm gonna turn on uh, which I'm gonna uninstall actually disable as fast as I can because I don't need it so now it's gone we're gonna enable some uh, exposed fix so this will this will be my my ROM for a while so I hope is is it is gonna be it's gonna be working well let me dial my number okay is working really fast and that's because it is optimized for S4 guys so if you want the S5 experience on your phone you'd better get the S5 itself it's it's a better idea to get this working we've got all sort of things here with we I don't want to mess with okay so my files and everything you need to know let's just um, see the notification right now so it is beautiful as always if, uh, it doesn't have so just slide out any other tweaks here lock screen unlock effect right okay so this is the stock uh, power saving mode okay so we've got no problems to worry here the phone is uh, acting very very quickly haven't got any problems so guys that this is this was the the minor overview of this ROM I hope you enjoyed it um, we'll see you so, I'll see you in the, next, in the further reviews please thumbs up and subscribe if you like in order to keep uh, to keep to be updated with uh, this type of, uh, of reviews um, the next review will be will be a little different it will not uh, I will not discuss about uh, anything related to Android um, I will uh, I will actually describe uh, uh, something about love love uh, distance love actually because um, I searched a lot of uh, a lot of YouTube uh, YouTube videos of this and I I kind of show I kind of see that I can see I can admit that they are very pop popular and uh, I'm also experiencing this type of feeling right now so I'm doing this uh, just to express myself because I also I've been always uh, uh, that uh, kind of person that uh, likes to to express it's herself itself himself myself and so guys if you like this video please thumbs up blackline android um, thanks you for watching and thanks you for more than 170 subscribers see you guys soon in the next review bye bye 
So guys, I need uh, I just need to show you something. This is very interesting. Take a look at the RAM right here. Random access memory. 550 megabytes used of uh, 180 gig. This is the best ROM and it's decreasing. This is the best ROM you'll ever find for the S4. Guys, believe me, this is and is decreasing actually. This is the best ROM you will ever find for your for your Galaxy S4, guys. I'm really um, I just want to know. <laughs> it's decreasing constantly, so it it 500 megabytes right now. 503, come on, 500 right now, used out, oh my god, it's right below 500 megabytes and it's decreasing, guys, this is, this is incredible, this is incredible, and I had, I hadn't even cleared the RAM right here, which is a bad, uh, bad idea by the way, but as you can see it's decreasing. This is this is incredible. 469. This is dope, man. This is really dope. And with all the touch we activated and so on, but this is dope. This here is dope. Oh my god. 450 megabytes. 450 megabytes used. And it's decreasing, god damn it! I thought it was it was my my it was it was that that kind of reaction that oh my god 500 used but right now it is decreasing okay now it I think it stopped so five, five, 450 megabytes used so we've got more than one uh, point. Uh, 1.3 let's say gigabyte free of RAM that's great hands down for that GoldenEye is the best ROM you'll ever find for your Galaxy S4 right now and I'm not I'm saying that as a, as a five-year Android user I've never had such an experience even at the first boot this is incredible guys I just think it, it will get under four 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 hundred and I'll make a screenshot by the way. This is incredible. Okay guys, so 444. Four, four. So this is where my reviews end and it's great. No words for that. Thumbs up and subscribe. Bye bye.